If you've been following me on Snapchat or you've heard my announcement on the channel, for the last 30 days I've been doing a 30 day challenge to upload a video to YouTube every single day. So in this video I'm going to give you the results of what happened from doing this. I'm going to give you the statistics on did it improve views, did it improve subs, but I'm also going to tell you how it improved other areas of my life and how it has helped me to actually produce better videos on this channel. So let's take a look at the data to see if doing a video a day is something that is viable for this channel first and foremost and whether it's something that has made the channel better or hasn't really added many improvements at all. So let's take a look at that now. Okay guys, so we're looking at some Social Blade stats here and the first thing you'll notice um, is the amount of subs we've been getting the last few days or couple weeks and the amount of views. So this is I think for the last two weeks um, and prior to this I was maybe getting 20 to 30 subs a day, anywhere between there. Um, sometimes it would go beyond that and hit in the 40s, but typically I would get like 20 something subs a day. But as you can see now, I'm getting the lowest number on here is 30 subs, except the 12, that's that's today. That's probably going to be a lot more um, by the end of the day, just because it's only 10 a.m. as I'm recording this. Um, but you can see that my average subs daily has gone up quite significantly since starting this challenge, or since um, starting to finishing this challenge, to where the last week I've been getting on average like 50 subs it's 69 56 48 47 46 52 which is incredible which means about every two days I gain another hundred subs and I definitely think that through doing this it has helped that now views as well have gone up significantly I'd say um, prior to doing this I was getting about 3,000 maybe a little more than 3,000 views a day now on average I'm getting about 4.5 thousand uh, views a day, 4.5k, which is a significant increase. That's 1,500 more views a day on average, which is incredible. And you can see some here, 5,000 views, 5,000.5 views, 5,000, 4.5, 4.9, um, and all that, which is amazing. And I definitely think that doing a video a day has helped this. Now, not only has it improved um, my views and subs overall, the views of the videos I've released have gone up as well. Before doing this 30 day challenge, when I released a video, um, it would not usually hit a thousand views in 24 hours. Actually, it was very rare that a video I released would hit over a thousand views in 24 hours. But since doing this 30 day challenge, many of the videos I've released have hit um, we hit over a thousand views in 24 hours, and many of them have gone on to do even better than that. There's a video I released a week ago that's at 3.2 thousand views. Another one uh, from about a week ago at 2.2 thousand views. Um, so definitely a significant increase in the amount of views each video gets. Now there are some that don't get that many. I mean, they might be topics that aren't as interesting for people. Um, like I released a video just of a compilation of shots and it basically stayed at 500 views. But for many of the videos, they have significantly gone up in the amount of views they get in, a sh in the first week. Before I did this challenge, you know, I would be looking at to get about a thousand views on a video in a week. Um, after a week was up, if I had a thousand videos on a video, I would look at that and go, okay, that's pretty good. I like that. But now it's like, if I have a, now it's pretty common for a video I release to get a thousand views in the first 24 hours for certain videos. So definitely, definitely, um, something that the 30 day challenge, um, has contributed towards. And now the final thing, and I think the most important thing outside of just the numbers, because what I'm giving you now is just growth and numbers of the channel. But I think even more importantly, um, the growth of not only you guys, because I've been releasing more videos, which means there's more content for you guys, there's more, you know, you know, there's daily information you guys can learn from, which which is great, and which is one of the way, reasons I love doing this as well. Um, it allows me to release more videos, which means, you know, I get to kind of express more ideas to you guys, show you more training and stuff. But I think the biggest thing that's happened during these 30 days is my own personal growth. Because this has been such a challenge to do this, I've become better at editing. I've become better at video creation in general. I've become more organized and, and, and basically have put a lot more passion into the videos as well. When I initially took on this challenge, I thought it was going to be a bit of a drag. It was going to be a lot harder, but 
it's actually gotten easier as the time has gotten on because I've gotten used to doing a video a day. Uh, my editing's become better. I like the videos more. Like, there are videos I've made in the last, like, week or two that I really, really like, and I'll look back at them and go, wow, I, I really love this video. So I think that's definitely something that this challenge um, has helped me to do, is to become very passionate about the videos I'm creating, but also helping me become organized and more scheduled. Like, I use my calendar a lot more. I, I schedule everything out down to the hour. I have the same pretty much time every day that I create and edit videos, which has helped me be a lot more productive. So overall, this has been, I think, a great challenge. I think this is for, I know it's not necessarily soccer related in the sense that it's soccer training, but I think it goes to prove how great a 30-day challenge can be for you. You don't have to do, I mean, not all of you have YouTube channels and not all of you are interested in creating them, um, if, even if, if you're watching this, um, but it just, I think, shows the power of how much you can get done in, in just 30 days and how much momentum you can build. Um, of course, you have to keep going beyond 30 days, where if you watched my last video, How to Get Good at Soccer in a Month, I mentioned this, but it is amazing looking back um, now to 30 days ago and comparing where I was then to now. It's just been 30 days and seeing the results, and it, it feels incredible to see how much momentum is being built in just such a small amount of time. So if you, if there's something you want to improve at, if there's something you have been putting off but you want to get better at and you want to see more results in, I implore you, take a 30-day challenge and just do it. It's only going to be for 30 days and you're going to experience similar results, whether it's you want to do a YouTube video thing or you want to do some other soccer training thing or anything, really. You do it for 30 days every day and you'll be consistent and you'll see you know, improvements, obvious results like I've seen through doing this and other 30 day challenges. All right guys, so in the comments, let me know which you prefer, me releasing videos every single day or releasing them about three times a week, four times a week. Um, you know, I've definitely enjoyed releasing videos every day. I'm thinking about just continuing to release videos every single day on the channel, but I wanna know your opinion, so let me know down below um, which you prefer and I will definitely be taking your answers into consideration. And if you happen to be someone who is looking to grow a YouTube channel or is looking to start a YouTube channel or you already have a YouTube channel and you're thinking about doing a video a day, um, I honestly would highly recommend you do. It is a lot of work, but through giving yourself this challenge, through putting that much work on your plate, it's going to force you to do certain things like um, schedule better. It's going to force you to create good content that you like to put out there. It's going to really honestly challenge you to the point where you just grow as a person and as a creator and as someone who releases videos. So if you are a channel right now and you're watching this and you are thinking about perhaps making maybe not even a video a day but more videos than you're currently making, I would honestly say go for it and try a 30-day challenge like I did because in all honesty I thought that it would not help my creativity. I thought that it would um, cause me to produce less quality videos, but the opposite has actually happened. I've produced better quality videos, I've had more passion about them, um, more drive, I've been more organized about them, and I've been able to release a ton more content that I had been just having ideas about but hadn't gotten around to actually releasing. So in my eyes, it has been a great challenge to do, and um, I'm really, really excited and proud that I did it and if you are a, a budding YouTube channel or you just want to see more growth on your channel or just be more involved um, on a day-to-day -day basis with your channel as far as video creation goes and I highly recommend you try a 30-day challenge as well. Alright guys so thanks for watching I know this wasn't necessarily more of a kind of a training video this was kind of more of a channel update to let you know that I was doing this challenge and to let you know um, you know my thoughts about it and whether I'm going to continue it. Again, let me know in the comments if you want me to keep releasing a video a day or if you prefer the old way we were doing things um, because I will be taking your uh, comments into consideration when moving forward with the channel. But ultimately, I want to be doing things that help this channel grow and help you guys improve. Um, so I'm always willing to take your feedback down there in the comments. Okay, guys, so thank you. Make sure you like and share this video. If you're new to Simply Soccer, make sure you subscribe as well. We release a new video every single day. Usually it's a soccer training video, um, although this one's a little bit different. Sometimes we do little updates like this as well. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I will put two videos on the screen that I think will help you. And um, 
improve as a soccer player and that will uh, continue to help you improve to grow. Okay, so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.